Hey guys, Pro1701 here, and we're going to do just a quick uh, spoiler-free review of The Rise of Skywalker, just kind of give my thoughts on it real fast. I liked the movie. I didn't love the movie, but I liked the movie. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, I give it a 7. I enjoy it. <clears throat> it's a It's a nice conclusion to the Skywalker saga without being a really good conclusion to the Skywalker saga. I enjoyed it. But I don't love it. It does, as other people have said, it feels like two movies crammed into one. It's like Abrams was trying to do his episode 8 and his episode 9. Uh, either that or with the backlash from episode 8, rightfully so, um, happening. And that he really wanted to course correct. And they really should have just split episode 9 maybe into two movies. But they didn't want to do that because it's got to be a trilogy. It's all about trilogies in Star Wars. Uh, trilogies, trilogies, trilogies. So, I think if they had split episode 9 into two movies, it would have went well. But I think that would have meant admitting that Last Jedi wasn't what everybody wanted. And heaven forbid they do that. So, I do very much feel like it's two movies crammed into one. And it shows. There's, it's uh, The first act has so much exposition and so much going on. Because um, it feels like the first act is a movie... By itself. The second act I really liked. Um, I really enjoyed the second act. And then the third act just kind of falls apart to me. Um, and gets a little out there. Uh, it's a movie that if I turn my brain off, I really enjoy it. It's got a lot of nostalgia factors in it. Some people would argue too much nostalgia. But a lot of the nostalgia beats... I like. It does a lot of things I like. Uh, there's uh, one particular scene with an X-Wing I really, really, really enjoy. Um, that was really nice. Uh, a couple other shots. Uh, one particular cameo I really liked and enjoyed. I thought the way they handled Leia and it was really well done. Considering what they had to work with and what they had to do with it, um, I do think they did a really good job and I think they did a nice job of honoring Carrie and honoring the character of Leia. So I was really pleased with that. But getting back to what I said, I, I think it's, um, I think if I turn my brain off, I really like it. But the more I actually start to think about the movie and about the plot and all the things that happen, it kind of falls apart and unravels in my head. It's kind of like, it's kind of like one of those really good 80s action movies you know, some of those like the like American Ninja 1 and 2, which were the only good American Ninja movies, or, or Commando. I love Commando. But the more you start to think about some of these movies, the more you realize they don't make a lot of sense. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like a lot of my 80s movies I love. As long as I'm not putting a whole lot of thought for them, and I'm just there to enjoy the movie for the sake of enjoying the movie, then Rise of Skywalker works for me. But the more I pick it apart, the more I get unhappy about it. And uh, since it's not really a spoiler, since he's in the trailers, uh, my thoughts on Palpatine real quick. Um, going off the trailers, I was fine with Palpatine coming back if they did it one of several ways, like a Force Ghost. I would love to have seen like Force Ghost Palpatine. I would have enjoyed that because then you could have had the Force Ghost Jedi um, <clears throat> coming in. <coughs> Excuse me. Kind of to, to fight. I would have liked to have seen some of the past Jedi's force goes come in to fight. They went a different route. The route they went with Palpatine, I don't really care for because one, they don't quite explain it uh, in as much detail as I would like. So I'm still not quite sure what's up with him. Um, I don't want to go into spoilers on that, but I'm, uh, I really don't like how they utilize Palpatine. I don't like how he is in the character. I don't like um, the the third act I have a lot of issues with. So, yeah, just in quick, without really going into spoilers, I'll do a spoiler video at some point or another. Um, I liked it. I didn't love it. It's not quite the ending I wanted, but it, it works. You know, it's a lot better than Last Jedi was to me anyway. I give it a 7 out of 10. Anyway, um, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Don't, don't forget to check out my other channel, Another Sci-Fi Guy where I review other sci-fi content besides Star Wars, and most importantly, thank you for watching.